Well, what do you think about Stockton Park? Then? So what are your thoughts and opinions on Stockton parking? Well, overall, it sucks here because there's absolutely no parking spots. The commuters take up all the good spots. And if I park in the wrong area, I get a nice $25 ticket from Stockton Police Department. I think that Stockton parking is um, kind of a mess because there's never any parking spots. And it's kind of unfair that uh, there's restrictions on where we can park. Um, and that we get ticketed if we have a visitor and they want to park next to where we live and the, the whole thing I just think is messy and we should definitely do something about it. During a typical week on campus, almost all the parking lots that are scattered throughout campus are stuffed with vehicles. Finding a place to park is equivalent to winning the lottery and the student body's concerns are growing about this issue. Oh. oh what do I say? Stop! Don't record it. Stop. Just. Well, how do you feel about Stockton Parking? I don't think Stockton Parking is too bad, but it is. Yeah, no, it is. That's how I feel. Stop. Let me say <laughs> A lot of people complain about parking in Stockton. I personally don't think it's too big of an issue because I do live on campus, so I don't really have a purpose of driving around campus. Um, I have heard rumors of putting in a parking garage, which I think is a good idea for the people that commute and the people that work here to have like a secure parking spot every day instead of doing laps and laps around campus trying to find a spot and then being late to work or late to class. Could a parking garage actually be a feasible solution to this problem? What are some of the effects with the introduction of a parking garage? The primary reason a garage has not been established on campus is the fact that it would violate state law when it comes to the Pinelands. Buildings cannot reach heights exceeding the treetop level making this potential project far-fetched. Also, the expenses associated with this structure, like this, would be extraordinary. With costs upwards of $8 million, it's hard to purchase a building that may or may not be beneficial to the school. Do you feel like any changes are, uh, are necessary at this point? Uh, let's see, I think freshmen should not be allowed to have cars on campus because they don't seem to really go anywhere but other people's dorms. Or we need to cut down more trees, which will probably never happen. And a parking garage, I'm not really sure about that one, so. So, do you think in the near future that parking here will be improved, or would it stay the same? Hmm. Well, this school, I think it's going to stay the same if the school keeps accepting more and more people. If they don't, then there will be some relief in the near future. I'm not really sure. It really depends on our school's authorities. <laughs> What do you think should be done in order to fix this problem? Uh, I think that definitely freshmen shouldn't be allowed to have their cars on campus. Most schools don't allow it, so I think that Stockton shouldn't be the exception. There's no reason, I feel, to have cars on campus as a freshman. I didn't have a car and I was fine. Um, so I think that that would really help the situation. The elimination of freshman parking? Is that a solution to the issue? If Stockton College was to take away freshman parking, could that help relieve the situation? Seton Hall University has just done that, but with negative feedback from its students. If freshman parking was to be done away with, students applying per year to Stockton College as a freshman could potentially decrease. TCNJ has eliminated freshman parking with similar results to Seton Hall. If Stockton College was to take away freshman parking, multiple outcomes could ensue. In all, it's a huge gamble for the school. The history of parking on campus has remained the same since the establishment of the Institute. Over 40 years of parking dilemmas and still no solution. This is a tough decision for the school. All eyes are upon head officials of the college for a solution to the problem. Could it be a parking garage or no more freshman parking? No one will truly know until the changes are put into action. As for the students, all that can really be done is to try to give some feedback to the school's officials. With so many questions being asked, one thing is certain, parking is an issue.